Hiding Heidi by Fiona Woodcock. Heidi has a special talent. Look, she's doing it again. Heidi can't help it. Wherever she goes, and whatever she does, it just happens. Sometimes Heidi's friends join in. They're good at hiding, too. But not as good as Heidi. No one's as good at hiding as she is. She's a natural. One day, Heidi was hanging out with her friends. Let's have a hippity-hoppity race, said Freddy. No, let's have a roller skating race, said Katie. No, 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 let's not have a race at all, said Lizzie. Let's play in the jungle gym. They couldn't agree. So, in the end, they all played hide-and-seek, which Heidi won, of course. The next day was Heidi's birthday. All her friends came over for a party. Everyone was dancing and having a lot of fun. When the music stopped, Heidi giggled, Now can we play hide-and-seek? Heidi went off to hide. Her friends searched for her high and low But they couldn't find her. They did, however, find some delicious ice cream sundaes. It wasn't until the very end of Heidi's party that she came out from her hiding spot and joined her friends. Sorry, Heidi. We couldn't find you and we got tired of playing hide-and-seek. Now her party was over, and Heidi thought, and thought, and thought. The next day, Heidi and her friends were hanging out. Let's have a hippity-hoppity race! said Freddy. Yes, let's, said Heidi quickly, before anyone else could say a word. So they did. Freddy was fantastic at bouncing. Then they had a roller skating race, with ribbons. Katie was sensational at skating. Then they clambered on the jungle gym. Lizzie was incredible at climbing. See? said Heidi as they all relaxed later. We don't always have to play hide-and-seek. Do we?